Are my hoops big enough? I don't think so. I think they should be bigger. Just saying. That's what she said. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Renee, Seattle MUA Renee on Instagram. I'll leave a link. Two things that I want to discuss. One is more of a story time, but this video is going to be my kind of quarantine hits and misses. I feel like I've done favorites videos, I've done hauls, and any of you guys that follow me on Instagram, which by the way, you should, and if you don't, and if you don't subscribe, you might want to check out my previous video where I don't do that. And it is a giveaway. So just throwing that out there, but please support me if you're going to enter because that's kind of the whole process like I give to you you give back to me vice versa you know help me help you and I want to just touch base a little bit about my next video so that you guys can either get excited or not about it the only real sit down story time video I have done to this day is about um, my own personal struggles with depression and anxiety and this also kind of ties into that by the way happy memorial day i am not the type to ever mention names i'm never it's just gonna be a very broad spectrum but i kind of want to touch base on what in my personal life i have been struggling with for the past i'd say year or so and now that I have this platform that I've worked and busted my ass for. I kind of want to share a little bit more with you guys. I want to share in the hopes of helping someone else out that may be going through the same thing. This is not to, you know, at all like shade anyone or anything whatsoever. Just want to share um, a story and some personal things. That's all. But today, let's get into some things I have been loving in quarantine. Some things are new, some things I got during the Sephora sale, some things are old, and I tried to make work because I'm in the Seattle area and we have had things like fully shut down since like the end of January. Um, for those of you who don't know, I actually have uh, severely weak kidneys. I've had E. coli twice. Um, once was pretty severe, so it actually ruined my kidneys for life. So therefore, I have to be very cautious just because of my compromised immune system. So what have I been loving the past few months? I actually have the items on my floor because I knew that you could see them up here and I kind of wanted it to be a surprise. These chips are from Costco. I'm sure maybe you can tell by the bag, but these are jalapeno lime. I love the Tostitos hint of lime, and I also love the hint of jalapeno, but I haven't been able to find, and neither has my mom, the hint of jalapeno around here. And so she saw these at Costco thinking and, and just thought of me. So I love these chips. And for someone who doesn't actually eat all that healthy, these, at least they make them look healthy. And of course they're spicy, I'm not gonna lie. They got a little bit of a kick to them, but I love that. I, I actually don't love the hot um, Cheetos, the Fleming Hot Cheetos. They just don't do much for me, but they did make jalapeno cheddar Cheetos, and I love that. Apparently, I like the jalapeno taste and not just the spiciness. Dry shampoo, that has been a necessity. 
these days. My overalls are totally, it's a good thing you can't see my lower part of my body because I think that my butt might actually be stuck to the chair, but it's okay. I'll figure that out when the video is over. Uh, this, I do, Eva, Eva, New York, you guys, I don't know. Uh, this dry shampoo, I believe they carry it at Sephora. I did get it at Costco and it came in, what I loved is that it came in this big, big, big bottle. And then they also had a mini travel size that came with it. Not that anybody's traveling a whole lot these days but this is perfect for in between shampoos or in between not shampooing your hair. <laughs> I just, I love the scent and it has um, this kind of like coconutty vibe. And I do love the sprayer. You guys know that I am like one of those spray people. It just has this light, fresh, like a little bit tropical scent and it doesn't leave any white flakes in your hair or anything like that. I just absolutely love this dry shampoo. This isn't new on the market, but it's new to me. I had been just not on the eyeshadow base bus with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. I finally got it. I've been using it now consistently every time i do my eyeshadow pretty much i used it today i have the white color so i will say that if you have drier eyelids you kind of have to work a little bit quick i don't set mine with anything i just kind of put this on blend it out with my fingers over here even and then i just go straight in with eyeshadow and it just gives that tacky feeling to wear if you're gonna wear bright eyeshadows or if you really want the it to be extremely pigmented this is hands down the best i have tried as far as eyeshadow base if you're looking for that if you're looking for a light you know if you're putting on cream eyeshadow and just a light makeup look or a no makeup makeup look you probably don't want to use this just because it is so concentrated and it definitely will make pigmented shadows and brights just pop like from space so definitely recommend the p louise base and like I said mine's white it's just called rumor zero so love that YSL is pricey but this is the instant matte pore refiner I've been using this the last few times I love it I love that it's matte and pore refining but it doesn't leave your skin feeling parched so I have combination uh, oily kind of in my T-zone area, but I really did like, it's kind of like the um, Dr. Brandt Pores No More or the Benefit Professional got together with a very mattifying primer. And this just combines both of them together. So if you either have oily skin or combo skin or you just want a matte look to your foundation definitely recommend giving this one a go and you can buy it in the smaller size like I did and be like me and a little bit more budget friendly but two more things I have to mention MAC Studio Fix the powder plus foundation I've been using this one for years. This one is actually uh, too light for me right now, which we'll, we'll get on to why I am this color <laughs> in a moment. So I have this in NC25. Um, I do have NC40, but I just couldn't find it. I think it might be in my car, but I love this. I don't use the little pad that it comes with because frankly, it kind of grosses me out. It gets really dirty. And I don't feel that that's very sanitary, especially right now. So I just use like a huge uh, makeup brush with it. 
And what I love about this guy is just for those quick touch-ups on the go, it's really good at give, evening out your skin tone, kind of minimizing your pores, just kind of an all-in-one. And then the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I love this. I kind of stopped using it for a little bit, but then I came back to it because what I really love is, especially if you're using just a powder foundation and maybe you want just to put on a little bit of makeup to go to the grocery store, or maybe your city is opening back up and you don't wanna go like full out glam yet. If you just put the sculpting concealer, and I love that it has the large, large doe foot applicator, and I have mine in the shade light beige, but it's just so easy to apply. And if you have any acne or any dark spots or anything like that, you can just kind of spot conceal, blend it out, and then take a big powder brush and put this guy on and maybe some brow gel and lip gloss or lipstick and you're pretty much good, good to go. G2G. Okay, so let's get on to some products that I kind of didn't love. And I will start with, this is better, a better airbrush spray tan than the Neutrogena one I used in my drugstore favorites last month. But, um, so I'll also insert a clip of what my bathroom looks like. It looks like I massacred Oompa Loompas. The Victoria Secret Insta Bronze. I will say, as soon as I put it on, I am I am bronze. I will. It, it does transfer, and it was kind of hard to get an even application. I don't hate the color. I don't feel like I'm as orange as the Neutrogena, but um. It made a huge fucking mess. Like, I'm gonna be cleaning up Oompa Loompa for a really long time. And it, you know, Seattle's not open yet, so I have some time. But this Insta Bronze is just, Insta just didn't work for me. And I did want to show you guys, this is my favorite self tanner the loving tan deluxe bronzing mousse this one is a mousse this one is a spray and also this spray i mean it you know just the aerosol but you guys i am not joking i use pretty much this entire bottle for one use that's not okay i'm sorry victoria's secret i love you I know you're not doing well business-wise, but it's not, okay. it's not okay. But I do love the Loving Tan. Also recommend the Saint Tropez. I need to order a new mitt because that's why I didn't use this one. I would have used this one today, but I couldn't find my mitt, so. So I'm orange. I tried this out, and since I did mention a Too Faced concealer that I love. I have to mention this one. I will be probably returning this guy once I can. The Too Faced Peach Concealer. As far as the way the product goes on, I just felt like it was too thick and patchy. I like the scent as far as scents go, but I did notice, and if you have sensitive eyes, because this has a scent, which is an, a beautiful peach scent, I just don't appreciate it around my eyes. And since this is a concealer, that's where I wanna put it. And I noticed, and it's hard to say what was what and what caused what, but I do have allergies, like seasonal allergies, whatever is blooming around here is no good for me. And, but when I used 
this concealer. I tried it out for a few days and on both of the days that I used it, I noticed my eyes were burning a little bit more. So I think that it might be the fragrance. I could be wrong, but nonetheless, I still didn't love the way that it applied. So sorry, that's my thoughts and I'm sticking to them. Okay, I know that Hourglass made another, a different uh, brow stick. This is the Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. I so badly wanted to love this because it got such amazing reviews and all the beauty influencers were like, oh my God, this is the best brow pencil ever. And then I cried. No, I didn't cry. But I just, it's got a very interesting, in interesting sorry guys i cannot talk today i'm trying to figure out how i can best show this to you just you know don't mind my wrinkly hands it's okay but i don't feel it, it kept breaking off and i don't feel like the pigmentation was there and I believe I got a medium brown color. I got warm brunette. So it should be visible, but I just felt like it was dry. Maybe I got a bad one, that could be, but I just felt like it was a little dry. There's a tiny little baby swatch of it, but I just felt it was dry and kind of difficult to use. The shape didn't I wasn't able to get those fine hair-like strokes that I love. So if you want a new brow pencil, I would recommend uh, the this CoverGirl, which is actually what I'm wearing today. I have this in rich brown and this is just, I don't know, it just says ultra fine brow pencil. Um, they both do come with the little spoolie on the other end. And when you buy it in store, it won't come with my hair on it. Hopefully, unless you shop in the Seattle area, you never know. But this one reminds me more of the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Sorry, it's trying to focus on me and not the, I have to get out the way, move, bitch. <laughs> So yeah, that is that. And this one I just feel is just so much creamier. I feel like, I mean, even just that you can see there, it is the top one. So I love that one. It's so creamy, it's so thin. It's really easy to get those hair-like strokes. So definitely recommend checking that one out. And the hourglass, not for me at all. Another thing that I hope people don't get insanely mad at me for. <laughs> the Fursali Rose Gold Skin Mist. I know a lot of people love this. Um, and I wasn't expecting there to be gold flecks on my face. In fact, I was hoping that there wasn't. But all the reviews and everyone that... I saw raving about it, didn't say anything about that. I just feel like there are so many products that I could recommend over this that do the same thing, basically, that are way cheaper than this. I've had this while, so um, I don't think I'm able to return it, but, and, and I still use it, it's just not... I would definitely recommend the Anastasia Dewey set over or even the MAC, um, the Fix Plus Plus Sparkle, the one that has the little bit of sparkle in it. But the Anastasia Dewey set is actually my favorite. The Fursali, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like you're paying a lot of money to see these gold flecks and yeah, they're beautiful, but is it real gold going on my face? I don't think so. 
I think not. And definitely would recommend this one over that. I'm still kind of on the fence. I'm not sure if it's a love or a miss yet. Huda Beauty came out with sparkling lip balms. I guess for me, if I'm gonna spend $20 on a sparkling lip balm, I really want it to sparkle. And I feel like this just kind of missed the mark a little bit. I feel like you could get the same look with just putting on some untinted lip balm and pressing in some glitters on your lips is kind of what it feels like. So, you know, uh, purchase at your own risk type thing. If you, I mean, the packaging is gorgeous. So I'm keeping it for that reason. For aesthetic purposes, I do love the container. I love the holographic. I love the sparkle. So even if I don't use it too much more, to me, I'm like, mm. I'm just going to keep it anyways. I think that that is everything. I just wanted to get on here, talk to you guys, and talk to you guys about some things I'm loving and some things that didn't work out. And then next video, I want to kind of tell you guys where I have been, not physically as much as mentally, and hopefully help some of you guys and at least at the very least, make you not feel so alone in your thoughts. So until then, I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to check out my last video and follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm at most of the time. And I'll have this makeup look up soon if it's not already. I love you. Have a good night. Oh, eat.